All right, all right, all right. Cooking the freezer continues. I know I showed you all these oxtails from June of 2021. Um, these oxtail prices from June are not the same oxtail prices of today. Uh, I won't be eating oxtails until the prices come down or I kill me an ox and cut its tail. But I am going to cook these seasoned oxtails, salt, pepper, and some thyme. I have some flour, I'm gonna just kind of dust those lightly and sear them in a hot cast iron skillet. Once those are brown, I'm gonna take those out and I'm going to add, I had some leftover jalapeno peppers. I had a, a, a pepper, there's pepper there, whole garlic, uh, also there's some onions and some carrots. I'm gonna saute those, almost like a roast if you will. Then I'm gonna add the meat back in. No, before I add the meat back in, I'm gonna add some tomato paste with some jerk seasoning that I used the other day on some chicken. I don't typically do that, but I'm gonna try it this time because I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I've already opened. Once I create that paste with the vegetables and the tomato paste and the jerk seasoning, I'm gonna add the meat back in at that point. Then I'm gonna top it off with some beef stock and some red wine that I opened this week. I didn't like as much, it's kind of sweeter, so I'm gonna use that in, in this stock um, instead. Alrighty, make some oxtails my way. Check out those oxtails, they are searing off. Two or three minutes per side, to get a nice crust. The flour helps to lock in the salt, pepper, and the thyme into um, the drippings, and my nephew would call the fan. I'll add the vegetables and then the paste and then the jerk seasoning. And I'm just gonna go into the oven on 350. Mm, that's a nice sear. Flour has coated and made that salt, pepper, and thyme seasoning stick. That's a nice sear. Man, I wish you could smell this. I added some Worcestershire sauce to this. So I loosened the bottom already. It smells incredible. Tomato paste, the jerk seasoning. I'm gonna add the meat back in. And then I'm going to just do that. Make sure some doesn't have, doesn't have to be on the bottom. The next, I'm gonna add some, some uh, red wine. Beef stock. Okay, okay, okay. You can see it building. These flavors building slowly but surely. Next, I'm gonna take the uh, meat and get that down to the bottom. In there is four cups of beef stock and probably a half a bottle of wine. Believe it or not. And I'm gonna just kind of start to submerge the meat because I want the meat to be submerged in this incredible broth. The vegetables will cook down. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about two hours or so. I'm trying to do things with uh, one hand is not always easy. I'm gonna add a few bay leaves to this and then put it in the oven. Wow, oxtail reveal. What more can I say? Look at that, just swimming in that incredible gravy. Take these out turn the heat on high, allow that gravy to reduce, put over some rice and peas, bon appetit, get at me though.